Hi, my name is Monica. I'm from cookie.com and I'm here today to tell you about Scroll Smart. It's a widget that controls your menu. So when you scroll down, it disappears, but when you scroll back up, the menu reappears. It can also be used for desktop. So when you scroll down, the menu appears and it stays there. I'm going to show you how to create it in Muse. We're first going to create a simple menu. And I want to make mine full width. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. And we're going to pin this to the top so that it always shows up. Now let's go into our graphic styles and create a new style. We're going to call it menu. Now we're going to go to our library and we're going to get the widget menu smart. We're going to give it the same name that we just gave our menu. Now when we preview it, we scroll down, no menu, but when we scroll back up, it's there. Now let's say you want to make it responsive. So let's create a new breakpoint. Let's use 700 for a tablet size. And let's go back to the desktop and we're going to right click on our menu and click hide in other breakpoints. This ensures that whatever effect we put on it doesn't transfer over to the mobile or tablet versions. We're going to open up the options for the widget and we're going to uncheck disappears when scroll down, appears when scroll up. That way the menu is always showing on the, test, on the desktop version. Now let's copy the menu and go back to the tablet. We're going to paste it. And we're going to create a new graphic style. We're going to call this one menu tablet. Next, we're going to go to the library again, grab the widget, and we're going to give it the same name as the menu. And we're going to leave this checked so that the menu disappears when you scroll down. Now we're going to create the mobile breakpoint. And we're going to go back to the desktop breakpoint. So we're going to right click on the menu that we created in the tablet version. And we're going to select hide and breakpoint because we only want it to show up in the tablet and mobile versions, not on the desktop. We're going to do the same thing to the widget. And now we're going to preview it. So in the desktop version, the menu appears after we scroll down. And if we make the screen smaller, when you scroll down, no menu, but if you scroll back up, the menu appears. The same thing happens for the mobile version. So that's basically all that I have to tell you about the basics of using the widget. If you want more details, you can always visit the documentation page. It has lots of tips and um, information about using all the options, including the responsive options. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.